Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel and squeezed through its... Alright, there's a storm coming, so we have to load you all up now. Now? But I'm not ready. You've passed all your tests, 108. You're in good condition. I envy you, chap. You're going to work in a factory in Ireland. I have to go help build a ruddy railway on the island of Sodor. I want to build a railway. Working in a factory is dull and boring. I, th I just think you're lazy, 107. I'm not lazy. I just don't do well with hard work. Alright, let's move. Come on, before all the wall chips come by. Well, so long, 108. I shall never forget you and your unusual desire to work. And I shall never forget you and your laziness. Oh, you are cheeky. Very funny. Now it's off to Sodor. My deathbed. Goodbye, 107. Come on, let's get you loaded. Off to that wretched factory in Ireland. Or so the engine thought. No one knows exactly what happened. Maybe the workmen weren't paying attention. Maybe they mixed up the numbers. But whatever happened, the engines were put on the wrong ships. How much further? Oh, about two hours. Two hours? I thought would be more. Hmm. Meanwhile, on the island of Sodor, the engines were all constructing a new railway. Once upon a time, there was a little island between England and Ireland called Sodor. It was an agricultural hotspot, providing crops for all over Britain and other parts of Europe, as well as the United States. It was also famous for its railways, and 1915 was a big year for the railways. They were all merging to form the Northwestern Railway, which was still under construction. The new engine's here! I see the boat! Let me see! Why, yes! I can see an engine being unloaded! Well, what do you know? It's a built-in E2 tank engine! Alright, he's on the rails. We're clear. Come on, let's go say hello to him! Why, hello there! You must be the new engine! Yes, um, I am. Hello! What's your name? Scares me, coming through. Ah, you must be 107. Hello, it's actually 108, sir. Ah, uh, well, wait a minute. 108? I'm pretty sure I ordered a 107. That's odd. Oh, maybe I did order 108. My mind's not working well today. Just stressed with all the preparations for the new railway. Anyway, I am Sir Topham Hatt, the man in charge. And welcome to Sodor. Sodor? Wait, I'm supposed to be in Ireland. 107's supposed to be here. Oh, I guess I did order a 107. Oh dear, there must have been a mix-up. I'm afraid you're right. You're not supposed to be here. But sir, he's the exact same model as the one you ordered. Shouldn't you just keep him? Someone in Ireland is probably going to be very angry that they didn't get their engine. I'd like to keep him, but I'm afraid that wouldn't be right, keeping someone else's engine. I'm very sorry, 108, but you'll probably have to go. It's fine. I understand. I do belong in that factory, by the way, even though I would love to be here. Working in a factory is no fun at all. Poor engine. He just wants to be really useful. I know that, and I'll go find out what's happened. Meanwhile, you can go stay in our sheds. Yes, sir. Oh, so this must be the new engine. Actually, he's not. I was sent here by mistake. I was supposed to go to Ireland. Probably a mix-up due to the stupid world we're having. 
What's this war even about? Trust me, it would take too long to explain. I see. By the way, what are all your names? Oh dear God, we forgot to introduce ourselves. Well, I've got too many names. They call me Wilston, Red Max, The Red Engine, but my preferred name is Eagle. I'm Neil. I'm Clive. My name's Matthew. And mine's Adam. <coughs> hey! Ah! What? New engine, remember? Introduce yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm Wallace. Pleasure to meet you, Wallace. Yes, you too. He's a bit lethargic, that fellow. So tell me, why don't you want to work in the factory in Ireland? Well, because all the other engines were boasting about going to do shunting and building while I just have to push slaughtered animals around in a stinking old factory, I'd literally be inside all day. I wanted to stay here and help build the railway. A lot of work, lad. Don't know if you're capable of it. Rubbish, Adam! If three boxes on wheels can do it, then so can he. You'll find that the Fat Controller is a very kind- Fat Controller? Goodness me. Don't you think that's a bit rude? <laughs> Don't worry. It's a tradition in his family. He doesn't mind it at all. The engines all laughed, and they talked all night long. The next morning, the Fat Controller suddenly zoomed in. Well, 108, I managed to get a hold of the port where you came from. Apparently, there was a mix-up, and you were sent here while 107 was sent to Ireland. Of course. He's in the factory I'm supposed to be at. Indeed. I guess I'll be going then. Not necessarily. What do you mean? The engine in Ireland is in the same shoes as you. In fact, he's refusing to leave. He's apparently extremely lazy, and I don't want an engine like that on my railway. You're definitely right about that. So, I've given a lot of thought to the matter. It would be very difficult to switch the both of you during a time like this, and to be honest, it would probably be a waste of time and money. Therefore, would you like to stay here while 107 stays in Ireland? Oh yes, sir! Hooray! Three cheers! Oh, oh, oh dear, no. Oh yes, three cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Sodora. We're gonna have to give you a real name, 108. Indeed. What would you like to be called? I'm not sure. Can't think of any names. We'll give you some time to think about it. Don't worry. Now, we must get you painted. Painted? Why, yes. We have to give you a new number and so forth. Oh, sir. Can I change my color? Please, can I please, please, please? Um, very well, if that is what you wish. Oh, thank you, sir. I hate this kind of red. It looks like someone ate tomato soup and was sick all over me. Um, I see. Well, let's get you off to the works, then. Alright, this must be the number one. Um, no. It's actually number 108. Not anymore, chap. You're the first engine bought specifically for main use on the North Western Railway. The other engines are either on rent or they want to keep their old numbers. Oh goody! I'm number one. Now then, we've got some nice black paint. Oh no, not black! Ugh. You didn't let me finish. We've also got apple green. Oh no, no, not that either. We're still not finished. Sheesh, let us finish our sentence. Finally, we've got this paint. A nice bright sky blue. Oh, now that's my style. Give me that colour and... Red stripes as well. Now come on, hurry. All right, <laughs> be patient. We'll get you done soon enough. Well, I say, man number one looks fabulous. Thank you, sir. Oi, Thomas, we're not allowed to go in there. It's dangerous. Train, Daddy, blue train. Yes, Thomas, that is a blue train. Now, come on, we're not allowed in here. I do apologize for the intrusion. He's only three. Oh, it's quite all right. I was just as curious when I was at that age. Sir? Yes? I think I may have found myself a good name.
that's the story, folks. Hundred years does go by for an engine. Why, yes, it does for a hundred and three-year-old man too, especially the one you were named after, Thomas. Why, yes, it does, Thomas. Even so, things will get better when the new engine arrives. Number two, I wonder what he'll be like. Hello, I'm Edward. I hope I'm at the right place. He's blue, just like me. Got me that. Then I guess you can have a partner now. You're just trying to be better than me. I'm still number one in the real blue engine. Well, I'll show him. Silly little engine. That number one has gone to his smoke box. I'll show him. I said, get lost. 